Alright, inside here you can see that uh, the back bed has already been opened. Uh, this rod here is what's actually holding that, that open. Uh, now when you go to close this, you're going to have to take the mattress out, undo this rod, this will fall down. you'll be able to fold this all back up in place. And like I said, the mattress has to be out of here. But it does come with these straps um, so that once the, the door is closed uh, and you have the mattress sitting here, you just hook these up and it keeps the mattress from falling around. But it's real simple. You grab the rod, put it into the center of that connector there, push it in, and then hook it up to the ceiling right here. Okay, and I'll show you that on this one over here. As you can see, the mattress is already out of the way. We grab that rod again. Line it up. Push it out until it's tight, and then hook it back up in there. Then just take your mattress, fold it in. Now on these, these all open up for windows, these are a screen. Okay, now both sides in the front, same thing in the back. This couch here doubles as a bed. Just pick it up and lay it down. Okay. There is an emergency exit window right here. I'm going to flip these two red tabs open, push that window out, and be able to get out. Uh, it does have a regular uh, open window here. Then just crank this open, and that window starts going out. Okay. Uh, the dinette goes down to a bed as well. Now you get the cushions out of the way. Kind of rock the table off a little bit. Get these legs out of the way. As you can see, it's got these rubber stops on here. Once uh, there's one on, or one on each corner, and that sits down just like that. Then you're going to take the cushions, push them into place just like so. And there you have yet another bed. Okay. You got a GFI outlet right here. If if one of the outlets goes out. Just gonna press that and reset it. Uh, storage underneath here. Uh, this is your return vent for the furnace. So when the furnace is running, that's pulling the air out of there. Uh, very important right here, this is a carbon monoxide propane alarm. If this guy is going off, get on out, shut the propane tanks off, and figure out what's going on. Uh, figure out maybe somebody bumped into the stove, turned that, that uh, cooktop on, but didn't light it. Um, or there could be a possibility of a gas leak. Um, the other thing it could be is a low battery. Uh, low battery will make those go off as well as um, certain cleaning chemicals will make them go off too. Down here is your power distribution center. These have your 110 breakers and your 12 volt fuses. Uh, now all these fuses are 15 amp fuses except for these 240 amp fuses which is part of your converter charger. Now your converter charger takes the 110 power when you're plugged into shore power, converts it to 12 volt, uh, sending power through the power distribution center as well as charging the battery. Okay. Uh, your fridge is uh, dual purpose, uh, but it'll only run on one or the other. So uh, if it's on, turn it on and you have it on auto, you're plugged into shore power, it's going to automatically be on electric. If you unplug from shore power and as long as you have battery power and the propane is on, it's going to automatically switch over to, to the gas, and it'll run off of gas. There is a temperature control right here, and then you got your freezer. As you can see, the it's getting pretty cold right now. It takes about eight hours for these things to cool down, so you want to keep that in mind um, before you go on your trip. Uh, more storage here as well as the storage drawers. Okay. Uh, you got an overhead 
light and an overhead fan, and that does uh, exit out the side of the coach. Uh, standard household microwave, nothing special there. The cooktop, uh, this glass on here is safety glass, but you want to make sure before you go and close it on top of the burners that the burners have cooled down. Uh, to light these burners, you're just going to turn it to where it says light, use the striker to turn those on. Now the, the oven side, there's a pilot down in the bottom. Um, you're going to have to turn it to, to where this knob up top for the oven says pilot and hold it and push it in and use a grill lighter and try and light that um, to turn that on. Once it's lit, uh, you got to keep it held in for about 5 to 10 seconds in order for the thermocoupler to heat up to tell the gas valve it's okay to, to light that burn. Then you can turn it up. As long as uh, you let go and it stays lit, it'll turn up and uh, go to your desired temperature. On the TV here, I just want to show you uh, this little this little plug right here for the TV. Now, the red light is on right now. Right next to that red light is a little switch. I turned that off. Uh, that means we're working off of cable hookup from the campground. If I push that button again and turn that light back on, we're working off the rooftop antenna, uh, and uh, it's pulling in. It's a booster for that. Okay, so it's pulling in off the rooftop antenna, and it'll automatically switch over um, behind there. Now, you'll have to do a channel scan everywhere you go, um, no matter what, if you're hooked up to cable or if you're hooked up and, and using the uh, rooftop antenna. You always have to do that, that channel search in the menu on the TV. Uh, your radio here. That's uh, does Bluetooth um, as well as USB. Okay. And it's just a regular AM FM radio and also play uh, CDs and DVDs. Okay. Previous customer had this uh, lock here. They must have had kids that like to mess with the, the thermostat. Um, you can just take it off and not have this on, or you can keep it on if you want to. But. Um, this does the controls for the rooftop AC as well as the furnace. So you're just going to scroll through these modes. It'll go to furnace mode, off, and also do a fan mode. So it'll be auto, high, or low. Um, now the fan mode, the, the fan up in the air conditioner will run, but it's actually not producing air for air conditioning. Um, so it's just running a fan. So if, say it's a, a cooler day out and you just want air moving around, you can come in and just do a fan mode. It's because uh, right now it's on auto, so the fan's off. You can switch it to high, the high fan will come on. You can switch it to low and it'll be a low fan. If you're gonna run the AC, I recommend keeping it in auto and then going to the AC and then changing the temperature with the arrows up and down, okay? In the bathroom, the uh, toilet is a foot flush. It's not like a standard house toilet where um, you have a tank. So you have to push down on that pedal a little bit to fill the bowl and then push it the rest of the way to, to drain the bowl. Um, on the shower, a little trick you can use um, is this little on off here. Um, so you only have a six gallon water heater and in order to save on hot water um, and not have to feel like you're rushing to take a shower, what you do is you set your temperature on the controls. You, you rinse off and then you can shut that valve off and that's just gonna stop the flow of water. Um, and then you can lather up and then once you're done lathering up you turn that back on rinse off And then you can shut the water off when you're done. Um, so just doing it that way just saves on the hot water um, It also saves if you're um, You know boondocking or dry camping working off the freshwater tank and you need to conserve as much water as possible. So There's that uh, you go the shower curtain comes around uh, The light in here the light switches to, to the right of the toilet or to the left as you walk in uh, this fan here lifts up. You just got to pull down on this T-bar that lifts up. Then you turn that fan on, and you'll uh, just an exhaust fan on there. Uh, if you want to use it and have it open all the time, recommend getting a max air cover on there. Those max air covers prevent any water from getting in, as well as um, any kind of debris getting in there as well. And you can leave this open all the time and not worry about that. Okay. Uh, just when you walk in the door, you have a fire extinguisher just in case of an emergency. Uh, this little green tab, if you push down on it and it pops back up, it means it's good. If it stays down, it means you need a new uh, propane or a new uh, fire extinguisher.
uh, get to the monitor panel like I was telling you before. So you have um, the monitor panel right here. It has um, a bunch of different options right here. You only have to worry about the black and the gray one. So like it says on here, tank options may vary by model. So this is a uh, unit that they use on, on a lot of different models that have different tanks. So uh, you're gonna, you got your battery level, your fresh water tank level, your black tank level, which is full right now and we'll, we'll get it dumped before you guys pick it up. Your gray tank, which, is, which is, has been drained already. Um, like I said, you don't have to worry about gray two or gray three because you only have the one gray tank. To the right of that is your awning control switch to run that awning in and out with power. Okay. As you can see, the fabric is up over the top of that tube. You want to make sure that it stays up over the top of the tube. With these awnings, there is no stop when it's going out. As you hit extend, it will keep going, get to a point where it's all the way out and start rolling itself back in the wrong way with the fabric going underneath the tube. So just reverse the direction and it'll get it right back the way it's supposed to be. You also have an awning light switch, which the awning light is in the tube. And then you have your water heater switch, which is your gas side right here. And then your water pump switch, which you need to have on if you're working off the fresh water tank. Okay, if you're just on city water, you do not need it on. Then you have a porch light, as well as your living room lights, your main lights on the ceiling here, okay? Uh, the rest of these are just all uh, dummied out for like I said, this is a, a standard panel for all their models. So, uh, Any other light that is um, in here that's not on a switch, right in the center is a push button. You just push it and it turns them on and off. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us. We'll be happy to try and help you. Um, YouTube's also a great source for uh, trying to find out some information. Just Google or search your, um, your make and model on YouTube, and there'll be plenty of videos to pop up. Oh,